Hi guys. Now this here, this here is my finished product. This is my reindeer parka. It's uh, all handmade uh, and even the cutting process was done with a handmade flint, flint uh, knife. So it's, uh, it's real old school. Uh, I have to admit that I didn't use uh, uh, all um, natural materials in the sewing process. I did have to use, uh, just to expedite the process, I used a metal uh, needle for the sewing process. But it was, uh, of course, hand sewn. I don't think you would, would have been able to do it with, uh, with a machine, actually, um, as the height was just uh, too, too coarse and too full of hairs. So um, uh, I did also use uh, linen thread, uh, at least for uh, most of it. Um, but also uh, some, uh, some parts of it uh, has uh, uh, moose sinew, uh, sinew as, uh, as a thread. So <clears throat> this here is the finished product. As you can see, it's fairly large. And I made it so that it would fit on top of my uh, woolen clothing. Uh, so it is fairly heavy duty. Now, today it's just far too warm for this kind of clothing. Um, but to tell you the truth, I just I haven't been able to get around to making this video before. Uh, so I just had to, to get out into the woods uh, while there's still at least a little bit of snow left uh, to test it. Uh, uh, in Easter, uh, during Easter, I will be going into the mountains. So hopefully I will be able to use it then, but uh, we'll see. Now, I'll give you a closer look of the, uh, the finished product and how it works. Okay, so this is it. Uh, now there are four buttons like this down the side of it. You can see, well you can see at least three of them here. Uh, they're made of, uh, uh, of ash and, uh, and just been carved. Uh, I think you've seen the process in the video. I'll make it so. Okay, and this here is the, uh, the leather cord that binds around it. So what you do is you take it once it is a bit clumpy. It's not the most practical of garments, but when it's freezing cold outside, I'll tell you, this hair is what you want to be wearing. Like this. So twice around the buttons, like that. And that holds in place just beautifully. Now that's all you need, really. So take it back, back around, get it off, like that. Okay. Uh, like I said, it has three buttons on this side. I mean, uh, four bu four buttons on this side and four loops. Uh, but it also has buttons and loops on the inside, so that it's uh, sort of double layered on, uh, on the midsection. So you can see here, it binds together on this side and also in the bottom, right here. So they also have to come off. Um, <clears throat> this is all reindeer hide, by the way. It's made out of uh, a total of three reindeers, a uh, calf and two uh, grown-up uh, simla, which is a uh, female reindeer. So the calf, or the calf, the calf, is... Uh, most of the arms. So you can see that, that there are different colorations here on the two different arms. You can see one is darker than the other and that's because they've been shot in the different seasons of the year. So this is uh, what the inside looks like. Let me just show you first the, uh, the outside a bit closer. Um, find a seam maybe. Here. You can see this here is a seam coming up over here. And this is where the, uh, the arm is fastened around and towards the back here. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to see, which is uh, a good thing, of course. Uh, you can't really see the stitches from the outside. It just looks like one whole complete type of uh, form of garment. And uh, I'll look at the inside. 
this here is the uh, the linen thread and as you can see it's been uh, and they're uh, they're pretty uh, pretty close together the stitches um, find a midsection here this is where the uh, arm meets the side there's a button here you can see this uh, this has been drilled out with a hand drill uh, and uh, it's been reinforced on the inside this is a very smart thing to do I mean you really have to reinforce them or uh, the the hide itself could tear so you have to reinforce it and uh, this has just been uh, cut out by hand from a uh, tree I just found uh, in uh, in a local park actually a wind windfall so this here is another view of the stitches this is uh, what I think you would call uh, an overhand uh, an overhand stitch with a loop kind of it's the same technique I use for most hide products so you'll see it a lot okay this here is uh, the collar going around the neck on the back here. This is the other side. Um, I decided not to add a hood because you can always do that afterwards. I mean, that's easy to add on. But if you have it uh, on as a sort of a permanent thing, it's, uh, you know, most of the time it's going to get in your way. So I'd rather just have a really heavy duty, sturdy hat that it's, you know, it's so much easier to take it on and off and then have a solid collar like on this this one here um, which you can also uh, fasten around around your face I mean the collar if, if it's closed it go, comes up to your eyes like that and that's more than enough to, to keep you warm in almost any circumstances so uh, I opt for no hood basically so this here is it This is a great type of garment for well, a lot of different situations really. I mean it's uh, almost as good as watertight. When you have the hairs to the outside it's just going to shed off, uh, at least for a very long time. I mean if it's just pouring down eventually something's going to get through and it's going to soak. But still hide is going to keep you warm and if you got wool on the inside you're pretty much set. Now. Uh, this can also be twisted around so that it's actually it's got the uh, what's now the inside to the outside and you got the hairs on the inside um, but it's going to be a lot tighter so you wouldn't be able to have as much clothing underneath if you do that so it's kind of a trade-off I mean you can't get can't get everything there are also two seams on the inside you can see one of them uh, here and the other ones right here and that's uh, to make it ride better on your back and not bulge out too much. Especially important when you're wearing a backpack uh, on top of this. And uh, you know it can look pretty bulky, um, uh, so it's important to, to not make it worse than it has to be. So uh, uh, it, it is actually fairly easy to, to wear a backpack on top of this, although it's not the uh, the pre preferred way to, to move about but it's uh, definitely possible and I've done it uh, on a couple of, of occasions so um, yeah it's, it's definitely doable okay that pretty much sums up the parka um, you know uh, it's been a pretty exciting and fun process uh, to be able to do this um, I, I hope uh, you've enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making uh, making the parka itself uh, you know if you like it please share it please uh, subscribe and um, I'll see you guys soon